Okay, well, I finally got a um, solenoid engine here that uses the crank system to rotate a rotor to run on a low voltage uh, transistor circuit. And I could have gone with a higher voltage and used a hall sensor, but I always like to see if I can get it to run on a AA battery at one and a half volts, and I was successful. Now, this is a two transistor complementary circuit that I used um, quite a ways back. There was an LED blinker circuit. It was basically a tank between a coil and a capacitor using a complementary transistor uh, switching thing. And when you put magnets in front of this coil, you disturb the tank in such a way that you get like a feedback and it'll run one of these type of pulse motors. Let me turn it on and show you how it works. Um, like I say, I could have done this with a hall sensor, but uh, I wanted to do it with a uh, one and a half volts. And there it is running on that blinker circuit. By the way, that rotor is just cardboard, a couple pieces of cardboard glued together. That's all you need for a flywheel, a rotor on this thing. And like I say, you can please frame this and study it. And um, it's the same complementary transistor circuit that I've been using for a long time. With a couple of variations, there's a, a um, potentiometer here that goes from the base of the PNP down to ground, and then a capacitor right here. It's different than the other circuits I've shown. And um, it's not great the way I've got it set up. It draws about 35 milliamps and a volt and a half, but it does work. And I'm just calling it the uh, transistor solenoid engine. And you can vary the speed on it with the potentiometer. So listen carefully. So, yeah, um, this, I like this. This was good. And I, it, what it is, is it's a blinker circuit. You see the LED just blinks. And that's this tank that's set up between the coil and the capacitor sloshes back and forth. And using this uh, complementary transistor uh, switching thing. And then you get a feedback from the magnet going in and out of that coil. It gives it a feedback so it will actually run the motor. Not great, but you know what? It works, and uh, it saved me from having to go to a two and a half volts in a uh, Hall effect sensor, and uh, I consider that a success. Thanks for watching.